Hello, so this is a quick phrase of, uh, of uh, internal video that we have the MCP server uh, highlights real in a, in a way. So, of course, we have the MCP server on the GitHub. This is the, uh, the repo. Uh, lengthy, comprehensive README, great architecture here. Easy to install locally, you need to install the MCP server yourself. And also know that you have to activate the plugin. For now, I have to be like open and connected. Uh, in the future, we will make this kind of minimized. This is the agent. And the first thing we're going to do is to ask the LLM to get from an unstructured design to a design system that is inferred from all the things that were thrown at that design. But also we want that to generate a nice documentation in Markdown uh, format and basically to detect all the design decisions, all the patterns, everything that was, um, that was there somehow in a way that is consumable in both documentation and code. And actually, this is a very smart way to use LLMs uh, because you're putting the, the right guard list for them. Next, uh, now that I have that, I want to move some of this information back to the Penpot file. So I'm recreating the palette here as styles in, uh, in Penpot and also the typographies. And this way we, we can um, very easily see how can we can connect and have consistency between the design system in code and in Penpot. And you can use different type of context for the LLM. In this case, I, I decided to actually select a particular design. You don't need to do that, but if you do that, the LLM knows because uh, there's the plugins API that is telling the, the MCP, okay, there's this file, there's sorry, this design selected. To recreate this using all the, the, the design system information into semantic and modular uh, HTML and CSS. Depending on the agent, you will get slightly different results, but overall that is actually good enough to see you know, the potential there. So we went from unstructured design to design system, design system back to PEMPOD, and then again from PEMPOD to HTML and, and CSS. And we know, of course, that we have CSS internally, but this is a nice one. Why not create a new design that was not there? So this would be a combination of uh, information that LM understands about login screens, but also the design system itself. And so we're asking the LM, okay, just recreate you know, completely uh, HTML and CSS model semantic login screen. Again, not perfect, but actually quite accurate. Pretty impressive. Now we're going to switch from Claude to uh, Goose, uh, you know, our friends at Goose with this open source agentic uh, platform. They're using GPT-5 here. And we're going to update directly on Penpot the color palette. So we are basically refactoring of the color palette and we want to go from this uh, kind of uh, purplish hue to um, a green one. So there's some calculations to uh, you know keep consistency. Of course, the moment you change the color palette, every design component, every design asset that was using those uh, colors gets uh, updated. And then another great open source project that we, we know very well because we use it, uh, you know, a Pimpon storybook uh, to store all these, uh, you know, kind of front end um, components. We are asking uh, the LLM, okay, just use the MCP server to uh, generate uh, a complete new storybook project. And then, of course, um, use all the context that you have, the Pimpot um, uh, information, the files, etc., and keep that synchronized. And it does an amazing job. We have all the computation, and then we have 100% of all design components actually built. Pretty impressive. This is a great use of uh, different open source products. In this case, this will be Pimpot and, and Storybook. So, really cool. So yeah, of course, we can all appreciate uh, the wonderful work around the plugins API, but also the fact that the way we treat uh, the visual language is so close to code that it is frictionless how we can go from design to code, code to design, also design to design, which is very exciting for us. Thanks everyone for watching.